Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Endangered, which is a cooperative game of survival by Joe Hopkins. But in this game we are, well you could probably surmise it can't you, we are trying to save tigers, in this case from deforestation, we are trying to get the various nations of the world to come together and help us to save the tigers. To do that we are going to be performing various actions to move the tigers around, try and get them to mate, try and stop deforestation having too bad an effect on them and try and withstand the various impact cards that will come out along the way. Just quickly before we get started, the admin, this is on Kickstarter right now. If you are interested and you would like to see the final stuff, bear in mind this is all just prototype materials and there will be another scenario included in the final game to do with otters. But uh, yeah, if you are interested, go and look at the campaign page. It's linked in the description or in the corner there and yeah, find out more there. But hopefully you get a feel for the game from watching this. And please turn your subtitles to the Klingon channel because if I've made any mistakes, they will hopefully be on there to keep you informed. So let's get on with it. Okay, I'm playing a two-player game today with Little Glass Marty. He is playing as the philanthropist and I am the zoologist. Now we have special powers, so Marty at any time on his turn, once per turn, can discard a card to get some more money. And I have migration routes, so when I move animals, I can move them extra spaces. Now, as well as having those bonus powers, they have a card listed underneath. We each have individual decks. A lot of the cards are the same, but some are unique to our characters. But there is a card listed underneath our player powers. We find them in our deck, and depending on what they do, they might be a continuous power that we get for the rest of the game, a one-off card. But in this case, they were both action cards. So I had adopt an animal and Marty had go to work and they are out as action spaces. These are actions that we can use. And throughout the cards in our deck, we can put out more and more actions as the game goes along and basically select actions that will be most beneficial to our situation, hopefully. So the first thing that happens in a round is the action phase. So it alternates in a two player game, as you might expect. So Marty is gonna be the first player in this. So we grab his dice and see what he can do. Now he's gonna be using them on these actions. He's got four, four, five. Now that's not ideal, really for him to roll very high and be going first because in a two player game anyway, to use the same action space as somebody else, apart from this one down here, to use the same action space as somebody else, you have to use a number that's too high at least. So to roll high is not great. He's probably going to be locking actions out for me unless I can roll some sixes. But hey, it's just the way it goes. In a, in a game with more than two players, you only have to have one higher than the other person. But uh, yeah, so he's probably going to lock me out of some things. He also has a hand of two cards to start with. So he's got here green companies. An action that would let the philanthropist, which is Marty, pay a million, and then whoever did the action draws a card and puts an influence on an ambassador. Now that is a good action to have because putting influence on ambassadors is what reveals them. And you know, all these various ambassadors of the different nations of the world, the ones that have been selected for this particular game, have different criteria for, for them to get on board with saving the tigers. They're going to need us to have a certain amount of money, a certain amount of tigers out, a certain amount of influence on them, all sorts of different criteria. And we find out what it is and help our chances of achieving it by putting influence on them. There is also adopt an animal, which is the action that I started out with. It uh, lets you discard a card from your hand and then move two animals up to two spaces each, which you know you might want to get them away from deforestation so you can remove it later on. Or you might just want them to get them together so that you have more chance of them mating. Now I have quite a nice card, Mating Habits, lets you add an animal to an empty space adjacent to a mating pair, which is just a pair of tigers in the same space, basically. So I think we want to try and get that out. And unless I roll a six, if Marty goes here, I have to roll a six to be able to use it, so two higher. So I don't think that Marty's going to play a card, because all of these actions are very nice, but you have to use the player card action to put them in this active zone so that other people can use them as actions. So I think we're gonna lock him out of that one. So he's got go to work to get some money and a lot of his things do rely on money. So he's gonna go to work. I think he'll use his uh, higher dice there because uh, I'm not gonna use that. So he gains $2 million from doing that. That's on these tokens here. I think for his philanthropist power as well, 
to keep earning money, he, he's not going to put Adopt an Animal out because we've already started with that. So he's going to discard a card using his special power, and this isn't uh, one of his actions, to gain another million. And these will come in for various actions, like his one here to the philanthropist pays a million and then you can put influence on things. That would be nice to have out, but we're going to wait a little bit. The replant action, once deforestation and destruction tiles have come out on here, the replant action means you pay money to get rid of them, as long as they're not adjacent to animals. So there's, there's lots of reasons why you'll want money later on in the game. So Marty could go for you know, moving animals, although it would discard his other card and he, he wants to keep that card. He could just use relocate. Now there are three spaces, if you can see the kind of faded lines here, there are three spaces where you can place dice, but it's not meant to be limited. So Marty is going to move one animal one space. I think he will move up there and we've made another mating pair because it increases our chances. We will roll a dice and it's the number of mating pairs you have plus one. You need to roll that number or below for a new offspring to be produced. So for his final action, since there's nothing to... There's no destruction tiles to remove and he wants to save play a card for me in case I don't roll a six. He's going to come down to social media campaign. Now here there's no limits. You don't have to be too higher than anyone else's die. And you can just choose, gain a million, or draw a card. He's going to draw a card. And he gets dividends. So when he plays this with the play action, he just gets four million straight away and the card goes away. So next we have the offspring phase. We need to roll the offspring dice and we count up the number of pairs, one, two, three, add one, four, and we need to roll four or below to produce a new offspring. So we roll a two, perfect, and let's say this pair did it, we need to place the offspring in an adjacent space, and let's grab the reference sheet quickly for the tiger offspring rules. Tigers are territorial. After a mating pair produces an offspring, one of the tigers in the mating pair must move to an empty adjacent space. No deforestation or other tigers. If there is no such space, the moving tiger is lost. So one of these pair need to move out. And then we have the destruction phase. So the rules for the tiger destruction, choose a row or column that contains at least one tiger. So let's choose column number six here. We then roll the destruction die, and that's going to correspond to one of the rows of the column that we picked. And it's going to place a deforestation tile if we roll a number that's got a tiger in it, unfortunately, the tigers in the space are lost. And we've rolled a one, which is good, all the way up in this corner here. And then we have the impact phase, and these are cards that are going to negatively affect us. We have fragmentation. This is when a human development causes a separation between connected tiger territories. So it's persistent. This is going to stay out until we do something to get rid of it. When a tiger sighting card enters play, and there are tiger sighting cards in the impact deck, lose an animal adjacent to a deforestation tile. Then we have the upkeep phase, which is where you draw a new card. And so Marty's got recycle, pay a million, and then draw a card and play a card. That could be good. So now, like Marty, when he starts his turn, is supposed to put his turn marker on here. And then when I go, I put my turn marker on there. And then it reverses the turn order when you take the tokens off here. In a two-player game, though, it's not as important. You just alternate the turn order. So I'll, I'll put it in there to show that Marty went first, just in case. Yeah, when I'm filming, I tend to forget these things. So now we move on to me. So which actions am I going to do? So I haven't rolled high numbers. It's good that Marty didn't go on the play a card action. So I'm going to play the mating habits card with my three here. And I'm going to use it straight away. So add an animal to an empty space adjacent to a mating pair. So we could we could go here even. Yeah, that would be good. Because then I could use my last action to if it would discard a card. Then the card I've got gets rid of a persistent impact card. I'm just thinking that I could have I could have gone on here, discard a card from your hand, and then move up to two animals up to two spaces each. I could have made two more pairs here, two more mating pairs. I'm pretty much guaranteed that we would get a new offspring. But do I want to keep this to get rid of persistent impact cards? I think, I think, yeah, let's, let's wait. And I'm going to gain a million here. Not draw a new card, but gain a million. 
because then I can look at getting rid of destruction tiles in the future. Marty can already do that because he's got a lot of money. There just hadn't been any destruction tiles when it was his action turn. That's my three actions. Then let's see if we get offspring. So we've only got... Oh, I need to roll three or below, though, at the moment. I did add an offspring, though, with my action. So three or below to get a new one. The roll a one, perfect. Let's say this pair did it. So we'll put an offspring adjacent, and then we will move someone else out. And we do have to think of the planning in this, because there are now a lot of... Yeah, there, there's no... Well, this column, row two here, has only got one thing in it. So let's say row two is the destruction row that we're doing and see which column gets hit. It's five, so that's not as bad for us. And these are quite a way away from tigers as well. And you can only remove them if they are not adjacent to animals. Then we have the impact phase. What did we draw? Oh, and it's another persistent impact. Clear cutting. Removing vast swathes of trees at once is the most profitable logging type, but wipes out whole ecosystems. So when a tiger sighting card enters play, not only are we going to lose an animal adjacent to a deforestation tile, we are also going to roll for one more deforestation that turn. Okay, so upkeep, I draw a new card, go to work, gain two million. And then, so I would uh, put my thing out on the thing to show that it's the end of the year now. No one's got their action markers left, so we move the year on. And in a two-player game, there are eight or nine years. The game will end at eight years if we have secured four yes votes from the ambassadors of the world. If not, we move on to year nine, play another round out, and see if we get them then. If we still don't get the votes, we're in trouble. And so play just keeps alternating, so it's Marty's turn again. So he's, he's rolled low numbers, that's good. So he definitely wants to play a card, I think. What will he play like? We'd like to start getting ambassadors out. But here, recycle is another way to get more actions out. So I think he's going to do recycle here. I think he should, since he's so rich, he should pay to remove a destruction tile. So he's going to pay one million. This is not adjacent to any animal, so we're going to remove that from the board. And then maybe he should play another card. Yeah. He's going to do recycle, pay a million. And then draw a card and play a card. So the card he draws, go to work, gain two million. It's already out. So, yeah, he's going to play his green companies. And then I'm going to use it, I think. He is going to use his power, though, to discard a card. He's going to discard go to work since we've already got one out. I think we'll be okay. So he can gain one million dollars. Unfortunately, though, he hasn't helped to get any uh, pairs made. So we've got one plus one, two. We need to roll two or below to get a new pair. Two. OK, I'll take it. So it has to be this pair that mates. One. We can put one there and then the other one can go on that side. One moves away. So now we have no mating pairs. But if we roll a one, <laughs> then maybe we can do it. So. We have destruction now, so I think I'm going to pick row two again, see which column gets affected. It's column five again. Okay, that suits me. Impact, it is a tiger sighting. As tigers' habitats get smaller, they come into conflict with humans more often. This triggers a variety of persistent impacts. If this didn't trigger any persistent impacts, we would draw another card. Unfortunately, it does, though. So we need to lose an animal adjacent to a deforestation tile. Luckily for us, there's nothing adjacent. It's not diagonal in this game. But we do need to roll for another deforestation. So what are we going to pick? Let's pick row one. See which column gets hit. Column three. Unfortunately, that is adjacent to a tiger. So we, we've already gone through the impact. We're not going to lose a tiger retroactively. But we need to move the tigers away if we want to replant there. Upkeep, Marty draws a card, and it is www.wildrescue.org. So this is continuous. This is a power. After any player rolls a die, you can pay a million to re-roll it. So that could be a really good thing to have out. For me, my actions, roll my dice. Very low numbers, unfortunately. So I, I can still replant, but I will need uh, to use my five to do that. So I think... 
I think I should go on. First of all, let's do green companies here. The philanthropist pays a million, so not me. And then I draw a card and add an influence to an ambassador. So that, that adds an influence to an ambassador. So let's just pick one out of here. These are influence cubes. I don't know what they want yet, so let's see what this ambassador wants. It is the German ambassador. And for them to say yes, we're going to need a little bit of luck. We're going to need some influence as well. Basically, when it comes to them voting in year eight or nine, we roll two dice, and then the greater die result plus the influence cubes we have there has to be eight or more for them to say yes to Tigers. Next up, I think we want some mating pairs. I'm going to discard a card. It's going to be go to work, I think. Yeah, we want to remove deforestation tiles, I think. I'm going to remove... I'm going to discard go to work so that I can move up to two animals, up to two spaces each, and I can move them additional spaces if I want. I can have them zoom across the map. So we could actually go one, two, three. One, two, three. And kind of move away from this deforestation up here. Then for my final action, I will pay a million to remove deforestation from, let's say, let's say there. Offspring, we now have two pairs. And oh, I didn't use my get new offspring action, did I? So three pairs, no, two pairs plus one is three. Roll three or below for a new, no new offspring this turn. Which is a shame. We have to pick a row or a column with at least one tiger in it. Let's pick column six and see which row gets affected. Oh, that's a shame. It doesn't lose as a tiger, but there are two tigers adjacent to that. And for the impact, that means we're going to lose a tiger, doesn't it? That's a shame. Okay, there's nothing we can do about it. Well, it's only if a tiger sighting card comes out. So the new impact card is anti-poaching patrol. Aggressive anti-poaching efforts can persuade some governments to increase their participation. Instant impact. If all players discard a card from their hand, you may reveal a face-down ambassador. I think we're going to leave that. I don't think either of us want to discard these cards. We're going to leave that. Okay, my upkeep, I draw a card. In 2 million, I would have discarded that. So that's the end of the year now. We move on to year three and get our dice back. And let's see what we can do. So there's a lot of deforestation out there. A lot of tigers, though, looking on the bright side. So let's see what Marty can get done. High numbers again. I think for player, for player card, he'll go low. And does he just want to get a load of money? Because it's really useful to him, for him to have money. I think... Hmm... I think he's going to go here, pay a million, and then draw a card and play a card. Or maybe he should put his high number on there. Yeah, because I'm not going to necessarily have money. So this uh, card is pay three million and then add three influence to an ambassador. That could be really good later when we know ones that we really want influence cubes on. So I don't know what he wants to uh, discard at the moment. For playing a card, he's going to play this one to get himself four million. So this is just a one-off goes away. Then I think we, we want to keep getting the deforestation gone. So we can get rid of one there. That's not adjacent to any tigers. And then finally, get more tigers out. That's not necessarily a, a huge priority, though. Be nice to discard a card and get some more pairs together or just to move them away from the deforestation space. I think he'll gain some more money and then next turn he's going to get his canvassing out I think and start using that putting three influence on an ambassador. Okay offspring there are two pairs plus one we need to roll three or less we roll a one so let's have this pair reproduce although there wouldn't be, there's not an empty space. If we put the offspring there, there's no empty space for the one of the pair to move to. So we would lose the tiger. So it's going to have to be this pair, I think. Offspring there, pair goes there. For destruction, we'll pick column six, I think. And let's see what column. It's column five, unfortunately. So we lose the tiger that was in that space. 
and it also means we can't pick that space again. And there's loads of deforestation adjacent to tigers. So then we have impact and we have logging permit. Female tiger territories are about seven square miles. Well, male territories range from 23 to 39 square miles. Fact. Instant impact. Find both clear cutting cards and put them both into play if they aren't already. So one of them is, I'm going to search the deck for the other one. That's very unfortunate. We haven't got a tiger sighting card yet, but three things are going to happen when we get a tiger sighting card now. Okay. So it's upkeep, isn't it? Marty draws a card. Add an influence to an ambassador. And it is my turn. So let's see what dice we have to work with. So some high numbers. So I think we want to play a card. Now I would like to... I would definitely like to play the volunteer to discard this and the persistent impact card, but... I'm going to put sign a petition out to start adding influence to the ambassadors more and more. Or just so that there's an option for... Maybe that's not necessary, though, because Marty's going to go for his really expensive one. Maybe I will put the volunteer out. So I'm definitely going to use the philanthropist action, so Marty pays a million. Then I draw a card. Maybe I should have done this first. Maybe I want this out. No, it's another sign petition. So, Marty plays a million, I draw a card, and add an influence to an ambassador. Let's pick another ambassador so we can reveal them. And we reveal Japan, who wants us to add up the total number of cards in our hands and influence here. And we want 16 or more for them to put a yes vote in. Okay, maybe we're not doing that. <laughs> There's only two of us. Come on, Japan. Okay. So, that's a bit of a shame. I still have an action left, though. And we only need four votes out of these six countries as well, so I think we, we may well have to write off Japan. So I could do my volunteer action now. We only have one pair going. Yeah, I am going to adopt an animal, discard a card from my hand to move two tigers up to two spaces each, although plus one space for me. I think we will... That's one movement. And then... We'll have another movement to there. So that's two more pairs. And yeah, try and get them away from try and get them away from deforestation as much as we can. So I don't have any money to keep clearing it out, unfortunately. Offspring then, we want a four or less. And I roll a one, which is fine. So let's have the new one come out there and maybe pick this as the deforestation place, maybe. Yeah, and we need to separate the pair. Destruction, we will choose column one, and it's going to be row two. Didn't lose a tiger, but unfortunately that is adjacent to one if the impact card comes out. The impact card we get is tiger sighting, unfortunately. So we need to lose a tiger adjacent to some deforestation. Then we need to roll for deforestation two more times because we have two clear cutting cards. So I think we'll pick column one again. It's space two. When we roll a space that's already occupied, uh, where is that bit? If there's a deforestation tile in that space, move the tile toward the nearest tiger until it reaches a space it, a space without a deforestation tile. So unfortunately, it's going to go where there is a tiger. I think that was only one extra time, wasn't it? So we pick r column five, maybe? So that's space five, column five. Yeah, not good. Tigers are looking very enclosed at the moment. So... I need another card for upkeep. And we have research findings. Each time an animal is lost, look at the top two cards of the impact deck and return them in either order. That could be okay. Every time an animal is lost. Hmm. I think I want that. So that is the end of year three, and we move on to year four now. I think, though, we've had three rounds. You probably get the gist of it by now. If you would like to know what I think of Endangered, then you can click the link over here and I'll tell you. But if you're in it for the long haul, if you're interested, if you want to see what happens to these tigers, then we're going to go all the way to the end in part two. And I'll see you at one of those, hopefully. Bye.